Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm showing you how to tear down or disassemble an ASUS TUF F15 series gaming laptop. The specific model I'm using in this video is an FX506, but this should help you get into any uh, TUF F15 series computer. So first thing guys, shut your computer off, make sure that it's powered down, unplug the charger, and then we're gonna flip it over. After you flip it over, you've got quite a few screws down here to remove. Uh, you've got these two on the top left, these two on the top right. You've got these three near the bottom right corner, and then these three near the bottom left corner. And then lastly, you have this one in the middle. Some of you may have a warranty sticker over this center one. Just be aware when entering any computer, if you're breaking any warranty seal stickers, uh, you could be voiding part or all of your warranty. Um, or warranties, depending on how many warranties you have on that machine. So just be aware of that with any DIY stuff. After you remove that, guys, you can take a small flat pry tool. I like using a plastic pry tool like a guitar pick. And you're going to go around the outside and slowly, gently pry apart the bottom case from that palm rest. Get those separated. Once you've separated them, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. One other word of caution, guys, I have this computer right now sitting on an anti-static mat. If you don't have a mat, try to get an anti-static bracelet, but something like that, that can help you avoid damaging your computer. Um, if you need any help on any tools or supplies, there'll be a link above, also below in the description on to my Amazon store. That'll show you some stuff that I use in my shop if you need any suggestions. Um, also, as far as getting power out of the computer, making it safe to work on, the first thing you do with any repair is unplug your battery. So we're going to do that before we get into anything else. You've got a screw here on the left of your battery, a screw down here on the right, and it's plugged in right here. So undo those two screws, and then right here you have your battery port. There's another sticker here. Uh, they love their warranty stickers in, in this model. As you can see, there's another sticker up here uh, to remove that heat sink screw, uh, but there is one here that will break when you take this port off. So um, just so you know, guys, don't just pick up the battery and, and yank on it. Some of these uh, wires sometimes can come right out of that plug. So put your fingernails or a small plastic pry tool on either grip on either side and just slide this straight down toward the bottom of the computer and that battery will release. Okay, so while you guys are working on that, getting out all those screws, removing your bottom case, and taking your battery out, I'll run a quick pitch by you for my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description. After your battery is gone, we can proceed further into the computer. Uh, these are your two RAM sticks right here. Uh, this computer supports, I think the max is 64 gigabytes of DDR4. Uh, double check your specific model, but I think this computer maxes out at 64. It's always a great, cheap, easy thing uh, to max out your computer at that can help your speed. I always recommend maxing out your RAM. Uh, RAM is held in a typical way. There's two metal arms on either side of your RAM stick. Those are spring loaded. And what you would do is you would place your fingers on those and gently pry them away from the RAM stick and the RAM stick will release. Oftentimes it will even pop up a little bit and then you can slide that RAM stick right out. Uh, to put the RAM back in, you would insert the RAM kind of at an angle, uh, the same angle that it was at when it popped out and you would get it in there nice and flush and then you would just press down right here on the center of the, the RAM stick, nice and easy, press down and those arms will reattach to the RAM stick, holding it in place. As far as your hard drives and your solid state drives, guys, there's a hard drive here. Uh, for those of you with the battery option that you saw, some of you may have a longer battery option here, in which case it'll wipe out this um, 
a SATA 2.5 inch port here, but some of you have a SATA 2.5 inch option here to add. Um, most of you though will have these two solid state drive M2 ports, one to the left under your fan here, one to the right under your right fan here. Uh, these are held in both the exact same way. There's one tiny screw here, as you can see on the right hand side, that holds down the solid state drive stick. So you would slide that in here to this port, kind of like RAM, you would slide it into the port, press it down, and fasten it by that screw. This one's the exact same way, but you have two of those ports here. A lot of storage capacity, uh, potentially, in this laptop. These are your speakers, one on the bottom left here, one on the bottom right here. Those speaker wires are these black and red wires here. They run right over your touchpad assembly, right under your uh, SATA port there. This right here, guys, under the right-hand fan, that's your LCD cable. That runs along the fan, kind of attached to it, in canals along that fan, up through your hinge assembly there. That's your LCD cable. Uh, and these two are your massive heat sinks. This is your fan on the left, fan on the right, your vent there, your vent here, and they go over your CPU and your GPU. To get these out, guys, you would undo the fan screws, like you can see right here on the left, there's a fan screw there, fan screw there, and there. Over on the right, you've got one here, one there. You also have these heat sink screws, four above the CPU, four above the GPU. And again, like I pointed out earlier, that one's got a sticker. So again, just so you're aware that you're ruining warranties going in, into this if you have a warranty. Once you get those up, you can reapply your thermal paste after cleaning the old stuff off. If that's why you're in here, you, you can blow and vacuum out your fans. Um, but that would gain you access after removing all that, that would gain you access to your overall motherboard. I hope that this quick little tutorial guided you into the computer a little bit. If you have any questions, once you get in, um, if I skipped something or I went too fast over something, or if your specific model doesn't completely line up to what I just demonstrated, check out the FAQs below in the, in the description. You can also leave me a question or comment and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.